Hello everyone, as you can see behind me, this is India's first underwater metro tunnel in Kolkata. It will allow commuters to travel across the Hooghly River which separates Kolkata from Howrah. This transportation tunnel was constructed 13 meters below the riverbed in just 66 days and commuters will be able to traverse the tunnel in just 45 seconds. There are many more exciting details about the recently inaugurated metro corridor. So let's dive in. The underwater tunnel which PM Modi inaugurated is part of the East-West Metro Corridor in Kolkata. Before the construction of the underwater tunnel, the East-West Metro Corridor was operational from Salt Lake Sector 5 to Shialda Station. With the 7.2 km long underground metro construction, which also includes an approximately 520 m long underwater tunnel below the Hooghly River, the East-West Metro Corridor will expand up to the Howrah Maidan. One of the most challenging tasks while constructing the last phase of the East-West Corridor was crossing the river Hooghly. Hence, an underwater tunnel was constructed 13 meters below the riverbed. It has an inner diameter of 5.5 meters and an outer diameter of 6.1 meters. Underground tunneling and all is in such a large extent is not present in anywhere in Indian Railways. Yes, in now the USBR, BCRL project and all, they are coming up, they have it. But under the river, this is the only project which has been taken up by Indian Railways and also this is the first metro in the entire India which is under the river and under the such a huge river. The planning for the underwater tunneling project was done with great care and attention to detail. All the necessary materials required for the construction of the tunnel were arranged well in advance. Furthermore, the tunnel boring machine was designed in such a way that it could be converted into a submarine in case of accident while working inside the river. Another challenging task for the authorities was constructing twin tunnels beneath old buildings between Howrah Maidan and new Esplanade Metro Station. The tunnels had to pass through old and very old structures, so authorities had to be extremely careful. Extensive surveys were conducted and detailed reports were prepared in advance to plan effective mitigation measures in time. The dilapidated buildings were strengthened during the tunneling period and residents were evacuated. The entire operation was completed without any problems. The last phase of Kolkata Metro Line 2 involves four stations. Among them, the Howrah Metro station is constructed 30 meters beneath the surface, making it India's deepest metro station. The station also involves 33 meters of excavation, the deepest excavation done so far for any metro project in India. Constructing tunnels below the Hooghly River and old buildings and excavating 33 meters is extremely difficult. With the commencement of the Green Line Metro, traffic congestion will indeed be reduced on both the ends of the corridor and Kolkata people will be able to travel easily from Howrah Maidan to Salt Lake Sector 5. 